Hello and welcome back to Spruce Creek AM. I'm Wesley Cedar, your host, and we here at Hawk TV have a great show ready for your, you to enjoy. Today we will get into some things you know, that happen here at Creek, much, such as district weightlifting, women's soccer versus Rockledge, poetry out loud. Also in this episode, we will check in with a poll of the week and Sparger's joke of the week. And to top it all off, we have, a, we have an interview with Nick Masters. Hello. Uh, Hello. So, you play soccer, correct? Yes. And uh, how, how long have you played soccer? I've played soccer since I was four years old. It's a long time? Solid age. <laughs> so uh, how has soccer kind of shaped you? Um, soccer has been something that I just have always gone to over the years. It's something that I'm good at, and it's something that I like to do. Um, so. I mean, for Creek, like, I knew I wanted to do soccer, and I knew I wanted to play all four years, so that's basically how it shaped my high school career. So uh, what, what position do you play on the soccer team? I play center uh, defender. So do you and your team do anything, like, specific to, to practice and, you know, work for games and stuff? Uh, well, right before games, we usually just have, like, a team dinner. Um, if it's a home game, we usually have a team dinner just to kind of um, chat with each other, joke around, laugh, and then kind of, and then as soon as it's game time, uh, like an hour before the game, we get serious, and that's when we start warming up. And in our warm ups, it's strictly serious because the dinners, we get all the fun stuff out of the way, and then as soon as we hit the field, it's just seriousness all throughout. So I, I hear you're also an IB, so. Um, yes. How, how is it weighing out soccer with your work? Um, it can be difficult sometimes, but um, senior year hasn't been too difficult uh, yet. But um, uh, it's, not, it's not too bad. You just have to space out your time and know uh, what you have to do before uh, you really do it. Sometimes you have to make a sacrifice. Uh, sometimes I remember sometimes I didn't even go to a practice just because I had more work to do and school is more important. But um, it's better to just weigh out your options and know what you have. So yeah, do you have any words for people you know who may be interested in soccer just haven't gone out for it, or people who are on like JV or something and are trying to make the varsity? Like, you have any inspirational words? Do it, because you won't regret it, and because it's uh, the soccer team is basically um, your second family. They treat you like a second family, so I would say yes, do it. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. Hello, Spruce Creek. I'm Spectrum Varsity Reporter Angelo Sarno here at the weightlifting meet here at Spruce Creek. Many athletes from across the schools in Volusia County have came here to compete and move on to the regionals. Let's see how it turns out. Hi, I'm here with Kendall Cowan, Rachel Petkus, and how did you compete tonight? I did good. I got third place. I got a 135 bench. I missed 145 because my butt came up like a little bit, so they were like, nah. And then I got a 155 clean and jerk. I missed 165 jerk, and I got stuck in my 170 squat. But yeah, we started off like slow in the beginning. Like you know, we're gonna like bounce back. I think we've won. So yeah, I'm like really hyped, you know. And I got my girl by my side. I got all I need, you know. All right. Well, thank you. Hi, I'm here with Michelle Kedby. And what did you do during the weightlifting meet today? 
I've just been unracking and re-racking the weights. Uh, how do you think the meet's going so far? Honestly, very well. And you think Creek's going to win? Always. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with Summer Dario Rivera. And what did you just do tonight? I benched 145 and I clean and jerked 125. But I can actually clean and jerk 150, but I sprained my ankle two weeks ago, so I had to go light today. <laughs> well, good job. And how many years have you been weightlifting? Uh, this is my second year. All right. Oh, thank you. I'm here at the conclusion of the girls' weightlifting meet here at Spruce Creek, and many students from Spruce Creek placed in the top six, and many made it to districts with the top three. But the congratulations to everyone who placed, and thank you all who participated. With the Spectrum varsity reporter, Angela Sarno, signing off. This is Spectrum varsity reporter, Rachel Keithen, reporting to you live from the Spruce Creek girls versus Rockledge soccer game. Tonight, January 12th, is senior night. There were a few bad judgment calls on the referee's part, leaving many unhappy fans. Some girls were so close yet so far with barely missing the goal. But, at the end of the night, the Hawks pulled back and made some really remarkable shots. I am here with... Coach Abadia. So if you could describe the season in one word, what would it be? Awesome. If you could give any motivational words to the graduating seniors, what would those be? I'd like to tell the seniors, you all have a special place in my heart, and it was a pleasure coaching you. I'm here with? Emily. Allie. I wouldn't. So the first question I have is, if you could describe this entire season in one word, what would it be? Undefeated. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you guys been playing soccer for? Since I was four. Since I was four. <laughs> Do you have any words of advice for the underclassmen? Um, just be comfortable in like moving around positions and being able to play wherever he puts you. Thank You're you. good at that, Allie. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any words of advice for the seniors? Good yeah. luck in college. Thanks, Al. <laughs> <laughs> Study hard. <laughs> you guys did a great job tonight. Good job. Thank you. The Hawks crushed Rockledge with amazing 8-2, leaving for districts undefeated. The Hawks did a great game tonight. They really showed up Rockledge on their senior night. This is Rachel Keithen from Hawk TV signing out. Go This is Rachel Keithen with Hawk TV reporting to you live from the 13th annual Poetry Out Loud contest at Spruce Creek High School. Our vows will none be broken. We have wrought no ill. So shall we not cry at the end of the day. Life has loveliness to sell. All beautiful and splendid things. Blue waves whitened on a cliff. Soaring fire to swave and sing. I am here with... Maya Henneberry. So, what poem did you recite tonight? Today I recited an apology for her poetry by Duchess of Newcastle, Margaret Cavendish. Is this your first time in Poetry Out Loud? No, it's not. What is your favorite part about this contest? Being able to listen to other people perform, because when you hear someone perform, you learn what the poem means to them. 
How hopeful are you that you're going to go to the final five tonight? I'm really hopeful because last year I placed second in the first round and fourth overall. You did a great job reciting your poem, so good luck. Thank you. I am here with Zantippy Pack Brown. So what poem did you recite tonight? Insomnia by Dana Joya. What's your favorite part about Poetry Out Loud? Probably the look that you get from the judges after you perform, and they're just kind of like, whoa. How hopeful are you that you're going to go to the top five tonight? There are a lot less people here this year than there were last year, so I think I have a fair chance. I don't know, though. I don't want to be narcissistic. The judges scored very sternly when they were picking out the top five finalists. The highly desirable, the rarely advisable, the hardly acquirable, properly scholarly attitude. I envy the savage without any clothes who lives in a tropical latitude. It's little of General Costa who knows that I may escape the words and woes of the properly scholarly attitude. Only there was a way. You crept close by the side to dodge eyes in the house. Two eyes, except. They styled their house the lodge. What right had a lounger up their lane but by creeping very close? Their eyes might strain and stretch themselves to O's. So fifth place is Olivia Hill. Mina Kim. Third, Kara Evans. Second place is Zantippi Pack Brown. And our first place winner for Poetry Out Loud here at Spruce Creek 2017 is Maya Henneberry. Congratulations to Maya Henneberry for going off the districts. Everyone did a great job tonight, and this is Rachel Keithen from Hawk TV signing out. So let's check out our poll of the week. The question was, what is your favorite movie? Star Wars Rogue One. Kubo and the Two Strings. <laughs> My dear spooky Halloween. Get ready and put on an extra pair of socks because the first pair is going to get knocked clean off by Sparger's Joke of the Week. It's a great day to be a hawk. Hey, so I got a joke for you guys. This is a real funny one here. Who falls asleep at a bullfight? A bulldozer. Thanks. <laughs> wow, that's going to be pretty hard to follow. So I guess I should bring the Spruce Creek AM ship in and leave on a high note. Thanks for watching, and remember, today is every day is a great day to be a hawk.